on a stormy situation. Yeah, certainly bad. cloudy out there yeah. still. Uh, now we're on to Friday's storm. I can't identify what I'm looking at right no, now. No, I'm not where, sure what it is. Where are we? Um, well, well, this is what it looks like in most neighborhoods. Transmitter. Oh, it's right off our transmitter. Okay, Wind Mountain. Um, yeah, it's just kind of, and there wasn't along the coast. I didn't find any ice mm. down here, so that was good. Inland, there was a little bit, but not enough to be okay. a big issue. But sneaky snow coming tomorrow, and I say that because. I thought we could maybe get an inch out of it. I think we might be able to get a little bit more. So we're going to talk about that in a second. Right now, the radar looks good. It's about what we expected. Just a couple of areas of freezing drizzle, probably under, literally under the radar. Um, there's a reason that's a saying is the radar beam shoots and up and at an angle and underneath it, you can get drizzle that's not picked up by the radar. So that's probably happening down across southern Maine, especially. And then there's some snow showers across central and northern Maine. Temperature is important in this scenario like right, this, right? And uh, we're hanging right around freezing along the coast, which isn't really going to cause much icing. Uh, you really need to be in the 20s. We discussed this a little bit yesterday, too. So farther inland, that's where temperatures are in the 20s, and that's where any drizzle that comes down will actually uh, turn into some ice accretion, although we will not see much of it. If you look into some of these valleys, they're in the upper 20s, and then far northern Maine is cold enough at all levels to be snow. So the rest of today is just kind of what you see is what you get. A couple of uh, freezing drizzle sprinkles out there, some snow showers across northern Maine. And late tonight, we are mostly cloudy with a couple of showers possible along the coastline. Here's this little area that we had down for snow showers and squalls on Friday. And again, I thought maybe we could get an inch out of it. But the models have looked a little bit stronger with it as it kind of tries to develop just a little bit off the coast here tomorrow morning. And so what that does gives us more moisture to work with in places like Portland uh, into Freeport down all the way into York County Kittery, for example. So I think we're getting a decent band of snow in here tomorrow morning through the middle of the day. So don't be caught off guard by that because it has looked stronger than it did before. And uh, that's something that doesn't happen that often anymore. So this is going to be now accumulating snow, it looks like, in through tomorrow afternoon. And then we do get the system out of here. It's not a nor'easter. It's relatively progressive. And then after that, we're quieter as we head into Saturday, which looks like a mixture of sun and clouds. Temperatures into the mid and upper 30s in most spots. And then we'll be bright and chilly on Sunday. So what are we talking about here? Again, it's not a blockbuster, but I'm not sure that people really even know it's going to snow tomorrow. So <laughs> one to three inches of snow possible. And that includes Augusta, Lewiston. I think the best chance will be just here along the coastline. Southern coastal Maine has the best chance of getting that two or three inches, then according to an inch north of Bangor, not a big deal there where they've already seen some snow. So it's quiet on Sunday and bright, and it's quiet through most of the middle, at least, of next week. There's nothing really going on. We've got maybe some light snow that'll come through on Thursday. I'm still hanging the hat on around the 14th and 15th of January are, in my opinion, maybe our only decent chance of a snowstorm in the long range. So if we don't catch that one, we in trouble for snow. And you know, the temperatures here are still pretty mild. I mean, you look at Tuesday and Wednesday, we're 40. There's so many winters where mid January 40 would be like a headline. Yeah. All right, it's going to be 40 right. tomorrow. Well, that's just kind of where we're living at. So overnight, it's chilly. You know, we got some teens, but as long as we're popping into the 30s during the day and then 40s, especially um, all the things that we're equating with this being an easy winter so far in terms of lack of ice, mm. lack of snow, that continues in the next seven days. So the only way that changes is if we catch that that mid month storm. That's really what you're focusing that's on. That's it. Now I mean, tomorrow will look more wintry because we'll get an inch or two of snow, right. but that's. Which is more than we have. Yeah, but I mean, point, so. in main terms, it's, it's really no. not much of anything. Okay, but it's coming. We'll be there tomorrow for yeah. it. Yeah. All right, Keith, thanks so much.